EMC Networker takes the backup and recovery of VMware to the next level. In this demo, I will show the Networker's direct integration with vCenter, as well as the Networker Management Console, which is used by the backup administrator. There is also a web interface that is used for file level recoveries. This will be shown in an additional demo. I'm going to start by looking at the vSphere web client. You can see that the EMC Backup and Recovery plugin is available. This is visible because prior to running the demo, the OVA for the Networker VMware Backup Appliance, also known as the VBA, was installed and registered within vCenter. Now looking at the Networker Management Console, you'll see that the VBA has been configured with the default policy. The Networker Administrator has also created a policy based on the business requirements. This policy will be used within the vSphere web client. When the policy was created within Networker, it was automatically pushed out to vCenter, and we will see this policy when we go into the EMC Backup and Recovery plugin within the vSphere web client. Now we will go into the vSphere web client, and you'll see that the Networker policy that was created by the Networker Administrator was automatically pushed and is visible through the EMC Backup and Recovery plugin. No action was required by the VMware admin. This shows seamless integration between Networker and VMware vCenter. I will now show how to assign a VM to the new policy. I highlight the policy and I choose the Edit button. I can be very granular about the VMs that I want to assign to this new policy. So for example, I will choose only the VMs that require the retention policy that was defined for this specific policy. I'm choosing to only select one VM for this policy. Once the policy is created, a pop-up box will appear showing that the policy was saved successfully. The networker integration with VMware gives each administrator great flexibility for the backup and recovery as well as monitoring of the backups. I will show the two primary interfaces. The first interface is the networker management console which is used to define the policies and the backup targets as well as monitoring and reporting. One of the benefits of the networker integration with vCenter is the ability for the VMware admin to kick off backups from the vSphere web client. Again, this interface will transparently use the policies that are being managed by networker. Let's now go into the networker management console and monitor a backup. We have configured two data domain systems in this environment. One is for the primary backup target and the other is for offsite storage. Networker brings value in the ability to manage the replication of the data domain systems. This is called clone controlled replication. The replication of one data domain to the other will begin as soon as a save set is completed. This means that the data will be immediately replicated and can meet the business SLAs for disaster recovery. Now that the backup and replication are completed, I will go issue a recovery. The Networker solution empowers the VMware admin to take control of the backups and the recoveries. I will show a recovery from the vSphere web client. This would be the same method used by the VMware admin. I start by selecting the EMC Backup and Recovery plugin. I then select the VBA to be used as my backup server. Next I select the Restore tab. There were two backups that were completed on this VBA. One is a replica and one is a primary. I am going to choose to restore the primary. During the recovery, I have the option to restore to the original location or choose a new name. I'm going to choose a new name for this recovery. The recovery will proceed. A pop-up box will indicate that the restore has been initiated. Once the restore is completed, we will go back to the vSphere web client and you will see that the machine was recovered to the new name. As shown in this demo, Networker offers leading edge backup and recovery for VMware environments. Not only is administration made easy by empowering the VMware and backup admins to use the same tools I use on a daily basis, but the Networker VBA, also known as the VMware Backup Appliance, provides change block tracking for backup and recovery. Networker's integration with Data Domain brings additional value by providing deduplication as well as clone-controlled replication.